but the problem is my bags are on the other flight. But what's it gonna take to get people's minds right? To, to literally snap the band, flip the switch, and get people's minds right. The collaboration with Under Armour and JBL is a winner. One thing that Todd does probably better than anyone that I know is to create energy and buy-in, which ultimately leads to you getting off your butt and getting it done and creating it. Guys, it comes down to hustle, man. Hustle. So you're saying it's probably a 18 to 20 hour flight to Moscow. So here's what I'll do on the flight. I'll, I'll, uh, yep. I'll look at, I'll look at the options for two workouts, one motivational talk. Um, look at logistics from San Diego to Russia. And, and then um, we'll lock that up in the next few days and then work on logistics and all that. I'll also then, I'll look at all that contagiasm and um, mind right maniac stuff to make sure we're good with, with Broder. And then we'll, uh, we'll rock and roll from there and I'll crank out a book in the meantime. <laughs> Heading over to New York City right now, getting ready to uh, rock and roll for this six hour flight. Very, very uh, pumped up. We've got the Under Armour and JBL uh, headphones event, media event tomorrow. Always honored to do these events, man. It's, it, it never gets old. 11 years with, with uh, Under Armour and it never gets old to have the opportunity to go up on the platform and this is gonna be an opportunity for you to see uh, all, this, all the behind the scenes stuff that goes on to create a great event uh, with JBL and UA hooking up and uh, trying to inspire the world. Hey, we talk about high performance. You know, music moves your soul. We know that when you have inspirational playlists, you have workout playlists, music moves the soul. And I'm pumped up to, uh, to try the new over the ear headphones myself uh, because get my inspirational TD playlist going, boy, that mind will be right. So let's hop on board. Let's see what it's all about. Buckle up, it's gonna be a great trip. If this one ends up canceling, then we'd have to move you to a 10 p.m. So, uh, I think we go to the 4 o'clock. I would head right over to gate 48 then. See, everyone thinks it's always glamorous, flying, all that stuff. Because of massive storms back east, our, uh, our 4 o'clock flight could be delayed, which would uh, make us take a red eye. Red eyes are never good. I gotta be on fire tomorrow. You gotta be able to call audibles, you gotta be able to adapt. And uh, either way, I know I've got about six hours. Hopefully we get there tonight. Uh, I'd rather get into a bed tonight where I can get some good rest and sleeping on the plane. They said to come down here because they didn't know if that was going to leave on time. But the problem is my bags are on the other flight, so I might have to wait. So I'm taking the safe bet um, so we get there and then I'll worry about my bag secondly. Wakey, wakey, get the sleepies out of the eyes, baby. It's uh, 1.35 in the morning. Got in the car, headed into the New York City, staying near Times Square. Hey, one thing uh, I always talk about with high performance, about getting your mind right, all these things, is how do you maximize your time? I love time on airplanes when I can write. No distractions, put your, your headphones on and just get after it. I literally uh, wrote three emails and a blog um, on that flight. I, I, I didn't stop working on that. It's relaxing to me to do that. Getting ahead, gonna get some rest, get some shut eye. Hopefully get to bed by 2.30 in the morning. Get up, get the workout in, and uh, and get ready for an incredible day with Under Armour tomorrow. So hope you're enjoying the journey so far. It's gonna be a great day, baby. Hooked up Under Armour JBL Sport Wireless Train Headphones. It is gonna be awesome. Can't wait to open up, wear these bad boys tonight for the big event. Oh yeah. Let's get after it, baby. Beautiful day in paradise, baby. The NYC. It's gonna be a great day. Gotta go explore the sea a little bit, though. Hey guys, I'm in the epicenter of the universe, Times Square, New York City, man. If you can make it here, you can make it anywhere. That's what they always say. And it's awesome to be here. It's a glorious afternoon here, uh, just about 12 noon. And uh, love being in New York. If you ever want to get ignited with energy, you talk about energy, you come to Times Square. And if you can't get a pulse here, man, you're dead. So 
Oh, I always love being back in New York. Uh, it's going to be an awesome day with the Under Armour JBL launch uh, this afternoon. Here I stand in Times Square. I think about uh, how did I get here? You know, how did I get here? Uh, <laughs> people always just see the outside. They see, they see the, they, they see the, the glimpses of it, but you don't know all what it takes. But you know, I started with Under Armour 11 years ago. A guy named Bill Hampton. I was on the, on the sideline of the Pro Bowl 2006. Drew Brees had just ripped his shoulder out of his socket. And uh, I always had an intention, I had it on no card to get an intention to work with an apparel company. And uh, I always loved Under Armour. They were an upstart company, they were rugged. And uh, I heard a conversation going on with a, a guy from Under Armour and an athlete. I went over and introduced myself. Next day I met with Under Armour after staying up literally all night, literally all night, I stayed up and wrote a proposal on about what I could do to save the world through exercise, through uh, working with kids and inspiring the mind and getting, getting kids' minds right and athletes' minds right. And lo and behold, uh, Bill Hampton and uh, the Under Armour team uh, just uh, soon thereafter signed me to uh, the first Under Armour deal, became the head of the Under Armour Performance Training Council at the time. And uh, 11 years later, here I am in Times Square. <sighs> A lot of people, it's always about the people, the people I've worked with, the people I've met, and high performers, you gotta hang with the right people, you gotta make sure that you, you're surrounding yourself with other, other fire-breathing dragons, other mind-right maniacs that will help you get your mind right. When you travel to a place like this, you stop and you have gratitude, you think about, man, what did it take to get here? I'm telling you what, there's been a lot of blood, sweat, and tears, literally blood, sweat, and tears. A lot of missed flights, a lot of late nights, a lot of missed weekends and watching mission kids games. It ain't always easy, I can promise you. It's not always easy. And sometimes you sit there, you scratch your head, and you're on a plane at 1.30 in the morning, you're like, man, I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna miss this seven on seven passing league. I'm gonna miss this game. I'm gonna miss this practice. Uh, it always comes down to your dang purpose, your purpose in life, and what are you doing? And I, I know what I do. I think about what am I gonna do to see all these people, these millions of people all around Times Square? You know, what's it gonna take to get people's minds right, the minds right, the mind right maniacs, to, to literally snap the band, flip the switch, and get people's minds right? That's purpose. What's your purpose? I, did, I exist to motivate and inspire people to greatness. I hope you're one of those people that exists to get your mind right every single day. And you're a fire-breathing dragon that's committed to making magic happen every single day. Okay. And don't forget a little wake-up call. Apple, lemon, ginger, cayenne. My lips are on fire. <laughs> You know, as I go back to the hotel right now, get ready for the big event tonight, talked about how grateful I am to be working with Under Armour for such a long time. And uh, I think one of the things that's important to, to realize is, and this is for any high performer, is you gotta set intentions, you gotta set goals. In today's day, especially in the uber competitive space that we all live in, regardless of what you do, fit pro, entrepreneur, I think collaborations play a really important role, uh, whether it be within your industry, um, whether it be coaching, whether it be apparel companies, how do you collaborate with other like-minded individuals, like-minded coaches, like-minded companies that can help you um, work together so you can, you can do whatever you wanna do? You gotta go to live events, you gotta, you gotta network. Hey, you always talk about your network is your net worth, your network is your net worth. It's important to collaborate with people that you, you wanna hang with, that you want to potentially collaborate with. You, you, you can't join forces if you're not in the, in, the, in the conversation, if you're not in the ballpark. So you gotta get in the game, you gotta be in the ballpark. That typically happens when you literally rub elbows with the right people. But I wanna encourage you to think about as you set your intentions, who do you need to collaborate with? Who do you need to hang with? These are all important aspects of any high performer. Oh, oh. We'll make some magic happen in this, in this place. Oh yeah, beautiful. We don't need a lot of space. I can pretty much uh, spread out my hands both ways, get it done. Don't matter. Find a way to get it done, baby. Good one today, Daniel. <laughs> my guys. What's up, Kev? What's up, bro? Good to see you, man. Mm -hmm. cool. Well, how long have you guys have come out? Yeah, no, we're, we're good. Pete. Was it Pete? Pete? Pete, good to meet you. Brian. Brian, good to meet you guys. See that? Iron workers right there. See that? Men of steel. 
Hey, the best thing is, were you guys part of the 9-11, uh, uh, yeah, all that? Look, look right here. Ground Zero. So these are the guys that, that took all that steel out of there after that, that fateful day. So thanks for what you guys do, man. And then you built the, uh, the whole new tower, right? Freedom Tower? Dude, how do you guys do that? Those guys are iron workers here in the city, and they saw my Facebook Live. And um, Kevin's a family friend. The other two guys are just followers fans and uh you think about that 9-11 ground zero those dudes took all the steel out of that finding bodies and they built the freedom tower man you talk about a dangerous job they're up on 100 stories walking the beams that's what makes america america that's what makes america great guys like that heart and soul heart and soul man Hey, hey. I'm Jess. Hey, Jess. Oh, and we'll have, what, 20 to 30 people? Probably 30, yeah. 30? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, with Love mats, it. stations. Dude, this is cool. We'll be kind of learning how to mix and blend songs together. That's, okay. Yeah. That's awesome. So pretty much this will take up almost about a half an hour, and then we've got you for a half an and hour. And then go. Yep. Yep. Dang, I would have brought my whole setup. Sweet. This is sweet. I think the biggest thing when I sit here is make sure I'm warm. I'm fueled up, I'm hydrated up. It's not long, but it's uh, intense once it goes. It'll be about 30 minutes. So I gotta make sure that my fuel tank is exactly where it needs to be. I'm hydrated up. And I've rehearsed through not only the workout, but all my speaking points I need to hit. So just a preparation standpoint is the uh, is the key aspect of all this. This is a big deal. It's a big deal for Under Armour and for JBL. It's a launch of a new product. But uh, anytime you know this product's going to launch, going to market, we want to make sure that we put it in its best site. So I want to make sure that these these media folks, um, which combined they reach millions and millions of people. Some of the millions alone. My hope is they have an incredible experience today and uh, they have just a great, great workout and they have a lot of smiles and they push themselves and challenge themselves as much as they want to. And I realize it all starts with the workout. I'm gonna give you the full Holy experience. Geez. If you're... Yeah, yeah, let's Yeah, we're gonna have it. to figure that part out. We're gonna have to give them some more space. <laughs> let's start, let's sell them that right now. What do we need to do? That's 20, that's, that's, that's gonna be the number of people. They'll be kicking each other. Well, I mean, if these songs are coordinated This is like yoga style. Totally. <laughs> Don't kill your neighbor. Right? Okay, like, bam, one. bam. That's a good one. Alternate too. That's good. This will be fine. Be easier than, than everything off the side and bring it back in. And be good. I think I'll work more from here. Yeah. You know, facing in. So it's here, facing in, or where Aaron's at, and they can face in. And sometimes they'll be facing in, and sometimes they'll be facing face me or face that way. Give somebody a high five. Give someone a high five. Uh, my name is Todd Durkin. I'm in from San Diego, California. Completely honored to be here. Flew in yesterday, and uh, I've been working with Under Armour now for over a decade. And uh, yes, thank you very much. Thank you very much. One thing I know is this. As a huge fan of Under Armour, I know this. They're committed to making all athletes better to make it people of all levels, all ages, all shapes and sizes better. The collaboration with Under Armour and JBL is a winner. Can I get a little clap it up? Get a little clap it up. Let's get it up, get it up, get it up, get up. First thing, all we're doing, face in the middle, start to move your arms back and forth. Marky Mark, let's pep it on up. We're gonna work everything today from feet to fingertips. Say your nightly prayers right here. Come on, elbows off the knees. Y'all better bring the energy. It's all about the energy tonight. Come on, baby, let's go! Let's go! Three. Energy! Energy! Greatness is in there! You gotta challenge yourself, baby! Whatever you got, let's go! Come on! Two more, you got it. Let's go! We got people working! Every day! Every day! Every day!
every day, every day, do your best, do your best, every day, every day, do your best, do your best, suck it up, suck it up, suck it up, suck it up, mindset, 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 positive. You be the lighthouse. You, y'all have the power to do that. Honestly, my only role today was to give you a little light, a little energy. But you're gonna go share that. You gotta impact someone else. Man, what a crazy 36 hours that was. You talk about hustling, you talk about grinding. That was a lot of fun. I think a lot of it, guys, it comes down to hustle, man. Hustling. Uh, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, one of the Under Armour uh, you know, guys, talk about hustle. That guy said, you know, way back when, uh, they said, hey, you want to be like Will Smith? He said, no, I want to be bigger than Will Smith. And they probably laughed at him uh, on that stuff. That guy hustles. The guy's always grinding. He's always working out. Gets his hour of cardio in the morning. Gets his hour of weights. It don't matter where he's at. I love that. I love that mindset. I love that 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 maniac that he is. That to me uh, epitomizes this trip. Is hustling, man. Like you know, it ain't always smooth. You saw the delays on the way out of here. Um, you know, didn't get in until late in the morning. And uh, man, when it's go time, when it's show time, you gotta go. Get your mind right, baby.